Hey, what's going on guys? So for this video, I want to show you this insane Amazon FBA product research technique that I use to find some very, very profitable products. Okay. One product I found recently, I should do about 25 to $30,000 profit per month from this one product. I'm going to show you that technique in just a second. But the reason why I want to shoot this video is because a lot of people have been asking, how do you find products? Now I've shown you how to find products on Amazon FBA or for Amazon FBA using Amazon.com. I've showed you how to use a site called Wish. I've showed you how to use Alibaba, AliExpress. I've showed you a lot of different methods to find these products. Okay. And the reason why I keep on showing you different methods is so that you understand that there's more than one way to find a product. Today, I'm going to show you another technique I use to find very profitable private label products. So let's jump into the video and I'm going to show you right now exactly how to do it. All right, guys. So the tool that I'm going to be using today is actually called Merchant Words. You probably heard of it. You may use it yourself. Um, so th that's, a, that's one of the tools I'm going to use today. And the second tool I'm going to use is Jungle Scout, the Chrome extension right up here. So first thing you want to do, I want to explain to you kind of what my strategy is before I go into try to find a product, okay? So what is my strategy? My strategy is I like to find products that are profitable products that nobody wants. And when I say nobody wants it, I'm talking about products that they don't do, you know, $20,000 a month, okay? That's not what they do. These products are doing more like 5,000. If I'm lucky, 10,000. $10,000 per month. This is revenue, okay? So the reason why I want to bring this up is because a lot of people look at this business as, oh, I can't find that $40,000 a month product. I can't find that $50,000 a month product. And that's completely fine. You don't need that product. That product is not what's going to get you to quit your nine to five job. That product's not going to get you to leave retail arbitrage and get into private label. Okay. Yes, those are great. But the products that are going to scale, scale your business and build it up to make it consistent and uh, and uh, stable income, that's these products right here. I have the majority of my products are these. I only have a handful of these. Okay, so and these this plus. Okay, so just understand that this is not the norm. This is. So that's my strategy going in is. Don't, don't look for the products that only do $50,000 revenue per month. Look at the products that are doing five to 10. Maybe they're doing a little bit less than five. Maybe they're doing two. Okay, look at those products and see, is there any barrier for entry that I can get into? I can make some money. I'm all, out, I'm all for making money. I don't care how I do it. If I have to do five products that do this just to do one that does that, that's perfectly fine with me. Okay, either way, it's a little bit more work, but in the long run, it's still going to be the same thing. Money's money. So how do I do it? Let's say my average profit per unit is five dollars. Okay, and I'm gonna get into the strategy in just a second. But let's say my average profit per unit is five dollars. And let's say you know uh, I have let's, let's start with a normal. Let's say a normal person has about five products. Okay, I have much more five products, and not all of them do five dollars per or profit per unit. But let's just say I have five products all doing five uh, five dollars profit per unit. What if each one of these products sells, say, 250 a month? Okay, so 250 a month. So let's pull up the calculator. Um, let's see. So I have 250 times five dollars profit per unit times five products. I'm making six thousand two hundred fifty dollars per month. Okay, that's profit per month. That's not bad for five products, right? It's not bad. Okay. So let's get into this. So what should we do first? The first thing that we want to do and the first thing that I highly recommend is you just start typing in words. Okay. Um, so let's type in uh, stress. Okay. And the reason I say this is because I have my stress ball right here. So I just come up with anything that off the top of my head. Stress balls. Let's type this in over on Amazon. Okay. We're going to copy that. Come over here to Amazon. We're going to paste it in there. Search for it. Stress balls. For for one, um, I just want to point this out. This is for the sake of this video. That's why I'm using it. But normally I'd think about, okay, stress balls. How much are they going to go for? 
they're usually pretty cheap. Some some stores sell them for like ninety nine cents, maybe a dollar fifty two dollars. So let's look. Get three for eleven dollars. Uh, three for eleven dollars. Uh, I don't know what that is for whatever. Uh, all these for twelve. Okay, so right there, I'm not even gonna click on it. Let's click on it anyway. Okay, just to show you. But normally I wouldn't even click on it because honestly, the price is too low. I like my price point to be anywhere between fifteen and fifty dollars. If that's the case, then I'll go for it. But right here, it's not. Okay, there's only one that's over fifteen dollars. And look at the reviews. There's a lot of reviews. I'm not gonna compete with that. Okay, I don't want to compete with that. So let's go to something else. Um, Anti-stress ball. Most of the stress stuff is probably gonna be pretty close. So let's do. Uh, let's pick a different word. Let's, let's go find some uh, ideas. Okay, funny stress relief, stress coloring book, um, reliever, tablets, formula. Uh, let's go do some with baby. Okay, baby. Let's see. Um, so for me, so let's look at this number. Let's explain this number for a second. First off, this is the estimated monthly. This is the estimated monthly search volume. Okay, it's across you know a bunch of things. But what I want to explain is for me, I like my main keyword to be over seventy-five thousand for this for the estimated search volume. But I like all my secondary keywords, which normally I have about ten to fifteen different keywords. I like those. Uh, all totaled up, I like those to be over half a million. Okay, so if I have ten different keywords, each one of those keywords would need to average fifty thousand uh, estimated uh, searches per month. So uh, let's look at some uh, baby girl, baby carrier, baby shower, um, baby socks, baby hat. Um, let's see, let's do like a hat rack. Let's type in hat rack. Or like a hat organizer, uh, so that's again. Well, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. It doesn't matter what the monthly searches is, but uh, I will look at some different things. So, so again, I'm not gonna do that. Let's do. Uh, uh, let's let's see what we do. A hat organizer. Hat organizer. I don't think that's really a thing, is it? Hat organizer. Let's copy that. I'm curious paste that in hat organizer okay has something hat organizer nine dollars it's a lot of reviews let's look at this so right here this isn't this isn't like extremely competitive um, because there's one two three four this one I pretty much class right about 50 five six six out six uh, seven, eight. So this isn't too competitive, uh, but honestly, it is. It's more competitive than I want it to be. Um, I don't know if any of these are really big names. My guess is this one is perfect. Was it perfect curve? My guess is they're pretty popular because they're on here quite a bit. Um, or it's just a bundle. Looks like it's just a multi pack. Yeah. So anyway, so something like that again. There's a lot of reviews here, so I don't think I'd go for something like this. But the the price, it doesn't match my $15 minimum. It does here for average. But again, here there's a lot of there's a lot of gaps. Um, let's look at like a, a a travel hat organizer. I don't know if that's uh, let's see. Let's do travel hat. I don't know what that's going to even show up, but we're going to look. Travel hat, no. Um, sports and outdoor. Let's look at that. So there's a bunch of reviews. Okay, so right there, a bunch of reviews. So I wouldn't deal with that one. Let's keep going. But this is all I'm doing. I'm just typing in different things over here on Merchant Words and trying to come up with different ideas. That's the whole point of this, okay? Let's let's look at some other. Let's try to come up with some other ideas. Um, let's do a, a flip flop organizer. For some reason I'm on organizers for. Let's probably get out of this. 
flip flop organizer. This one right there. Let's look at this. And this one's going to pull up. It's not a whole lot of sales. I don't really like that. Okay, five, less than five, five, 28. Again, I, I'm fine with getting 100 sales a month, something like this. But I'm not fine jumping into something like this that doesn't have the backing. Because uh, there's a lot of them that have very low sales. So something like that, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be too excited to get into. But it is a possibility. Um, let's do like a, a shoe holder. A shoe rack holder. Not sure what that would be. Let's copy this one, paste in here. Okay. Shoe holder. Uh, I think I looked at this once before. It's not like the greatest. Um, let's, let's go find something else. Uh, men's shoe holder, shoe. Let's do sock. Again, you see how I kind of going through this? Um, that's pretty much all I'm doing. I'm thinking, okay, organizer, that went to holder, that went to shoes, and now I'm over here on socks. Um, let's see. I don't want to do anything with actual socks, like the material. That's not what I want. Um, I was thinking more like a sock, maybe like sock stretcher. Again, this is we're really niching it down right here. Uh, and this isn't something that you should do, but I'm trying to come up with different ideas, mainly for the sake of this video. Um, sock stretcher. Let's look at that. I don't know how much, how many sales they'd get, but we can look. Well, that's aqua sock. I don't know what that is. Um, sock blocker I'm not sure what an aqua sock blocker is see right here not a whole lot of sales 24 13 less than five um, so again some people are taking up most of it this one right there this one right here um, so let's keep looking let's go look at a uh, drawer you see I look I don't want to organize there we go Okay, drawer slides, drawer poles, uh, storage drawers. Let's see, drawer knobs, drawer dividers. Let's look at drawer dividers, actually. <clears throat> I think that's kind of the same thing as the drawer organizer. Let's see. So right here, I'm just looking through reviews. Uh, it's a little bit too competitive. I don't want to get into something like this. And when I look at the reviews, I want to, I want something that's under 50. So the majority of the products in the top between 1 and 10 have under 50 reviews. This one has two. Okay, two that are under that. This one, Thomas and Thomas Grace Hardwares and Shine Me. Okay, so those are probably both private label sellers. I don't want to get into something like that simply because if I can't break into the top five, Again, I don't need to be in the top one. The top one would be great, or the very top would be great, but I want to get into the, at least the top five because I know if I can get into the top five without doing a whole lot of PPC, I can push it and I can use PPC. I can use another launch strategy to get into the top one or two. Okay, so this one right here, it's just too competitive for me. I wouldn't deal with that one. Um, let's see, uh, plastic drawer, plastic storage drawers. Um, cash drawer, um, three drawer organizer, drawer poles, let's see, cabinet, I was thinking like cabinet lock, under cabinet, file cabinet, filing cabinet, cabinet knobs, corner cabinet, um, let's see, uh, baby corner so I'm looking at like a baby corner guard there we go 
corner guards right here. Let's look at this one. I may have looked at this one in the past. The whole point of me showing you everything, and again, sorry about this video being longer than normal, um, than most of my videos, but I want to show you the process that I'm going through. That's the whole purpose of this, okay? And who knows, maybe we find something and you guys want to jump on it. I don't know. Okay, so this one right here. The price is a little bit lower than I want it to be. $9, 13 9 12 12 16 12 18 Okay, it is what it is. But look at this. So review, 69 reviews for this number one. Okay, very simple. Look at these. These things, I'm going to tell you right now. I think, I've, I think I've looked at something like this before. These things for a pack, so that's 24 pack. Uh, but for like a like a 12 pack, the reason I look at 12 pack is because it'll do three different tables if they all have four corners. So something like this, a 12 pack, you're probably looking at about with shipping, you're probably looking at about a dollar, maybe like a dollar to dollar fifty with shipping for a 12 pack. Okay, that's how inexpensive these are. Okay, so dollar dollar fifty, you sell them for. Let's click on one of these actually. Pull up one of these, pull up this calculator. So let's say new Amazon fees. Let's say we're selling it for $9.95. And this thing costs, let's say $1.50. And that's all in. That's shipping. That's the product. That's your label. That's packaging. Everything. $1.50. You make $3.75. Even if this costs you $2.25, you're still making money. You're still making $3. Okay. So $2.25 for a 12 pack of these. It's not bad, okay? But again, yeah, you can see from the uh, from the Jungle Scout uh, numbers that it is, it is fairly competitive. Now, you get down here to number 8, 34, number 9, 56, 80 for number 10. Then you get up here. Um, this, one, this one's a little bit, this isn't really a corner guard. It has the whole edge guard and corner guards combined. Uh, but then you get into these 250. 51 reviews, 20 pack, um, you know, so not too bad. Uh, let's see, let's go find another one. Now that I'm corner guard, um, let's see. Let's do uh, wood. Yeah, not wooden spoon, wood stone, wood, wood cutting board. Um, what is that? There's a cutting board. Let's look at cutting board. Cutting board. This is the last one, then uh, then we'll get out of this video. Uh, let's see. Uh, cutting board books. Flexible cutting board. Um, cricket cutting board. Tea cutting board. Rotary. Meat cutting board. I don't know what a cat skill. Marble. Ohio. Wood. Engraved. Healing. Sizzix, Maple, uh, let's see, let's do, let's do Flexible, where'd it go, Flexible Cutting Board, let's look at that one really quick, this will be our last example, but then you should be able to get, you should be able to understand exactly what I'm doing, how I'm finding very profitable products using this exact same strategy. It's not that difficult. All you gotta do, come over here to Merchant Words and start looking up just different things, just like I've done here, okay? So right here, let's see. So the product cost, this one's very inexpensive, okay? Um, this one right here, extra thick, looks like a four pack, okay? A three pack, uh, single, a uh, four pack. Um, see this one right here, like one. Anyway, so let's look at the reviews. First off, the sales are there. They look like they're decently spread out. But when you get over here to the reviews, we're looking at the best one to really go after is right here. Number five has 65 reviews on it. But it's, it's not bad, it's not out of the question. But you just gotta understand, there's you're gonna have to give away a decent amount of product, you have to do a great launch to get up here in the top five. And that's my goal, is to get into the top five. If I can't get into the top five fairly quickly, that's gonna take a lot more giveaways, a lot more discounts, a lot more just really pushing the product. 
it's going to make it harder for me to scale my business for my other products because I'm going to be putting all my time into this one. Okay. So this one right here has nine reviews, has 12 sales or roughly 12 sales per month. Um, this one 27. Uh, this one right here, 302 sales estimated per month. Um, this is, and this is, so what I want to explain to you guys is just because this one has, so this one right here, 302 uh, estimated sales per month, 27 reviews. This one has 266 and 81 reviews. Why is this? The reason why this is, is simply because maybe they're getting sales on a different keyword. So right here, why are they getting more sales than this one, but they have less reviews, okay? And they have a better ranking and they're in patio and lawn garden. Why is that? It could be because they are targeting different keywords than flexible cutting board. This is just the information for flexible cutting board. You have to keep that in mind because if we did flexible um, uh, cutting surface, who knows if that's going to be something different, and then we go and run this again, it's going to bring up completely different information. Okay? So, we are here for flexible cutting surface. You can see right here, look at that. This one right here is different. This one's different. Um, some of these are still the same. This one right here, number 13, five reviews, 32 sales, 27 reviews, 302 sales. It's that one again. Okay, so hopefully this kind of gives you an idea of what it is I'm looking for because honestly, it's not that difficult, okay? So, you know, we look over here, okay? This is, it's very easy to do, okay? When I, okay, before you guys bash me in the comments again, when I say easy, I'm talking about, it's not like, oh, you just throw some money at it and it's just gonna start to sell. That's not the case. What I'm talking about is, so you go and find a product. Let's say you find this product and you get four more. If each one does $5 profit per unit and you have all five products doing, you know, 250 units a, a month, which isn't out of the question. It's not like it's impossible. I have a bunch of students going through my course right now that are doing 100 you know, units a month, doing 250 units a month. I have a couple people that are doing a little bit over 2,000 units a month. That's really good, okay? So I'm not saying you're gonna be the one of those people that does you know one product and does 2,000 units a month. That would be great. But even if you can just do 100, you know, units in your first month, that's not like it's a terrible product, okay? You're still selling over three a day, which is kind of like my minimum. Um, anything lower than that, I'll probably cut the product off. But something at, th at three units a day, and you're making $15 profit per day on one product, that's not bad, especially if you have five products. You're making $75 profit per day from those five products that you private labeled. Maybe you're not doing any pay-per-click. Maybe you're not doing any type of, some type of launch, and that's completely fine. Then you can do the launch. Then you can do your paper, your pay-per-click. Then you can start do building a brand around it and really exploding your business. So I just wanted to show you guys this, okay? Use the merchant words. This is, it's just an incredible, uh, you know, Amazon FBA private label research strategy. I love it. I love using merchant words, but again, I also use Amazon itself. I also use Alibaba itself. Okay. There's a lot of ways you can get in and you can find ideas and you can start making money. But this is really all I do. And then from here, you know, let's say you decide uh, flexible cutting boards is what you want. Okay. Come over here. Cutting board. Just like that. Say you're going to sell it for $13. Let's say uh, this set of, what was it, a set of five? I don't know. Maybe one, two, three, four. Set of four, this is cost you. Yeah, chance are you're not gonna get you don't want three thousand units, but let's say this one right here, five hundred units, let's say it costs you four dollars. Let's say this costs you four dollars for shipping, it's gonna be very inexpensive. Uh it's probably be like a let's say it's gonna be like a dollar a piece or per per set. So let's say you're looking at five dollars total all in. Five dollars total all in. Let's look at this one. Let's come over here and right there. Okay, $5 total all in. Let's say you're selling it for 
I don't recommend 50. I do like a 45 or I do like a 95. Those seem to do a little better. Let's say you're in it uh, shipping. Let's do product cost. What do we say? $5. Let's say $5.50. Just get an idea. So with the new Amazon fees at after February 2nd, 22nd, 2018, looking at $5.50 product cost, you're looking about $4.17 profit per sale. Okay, not per unit because if there's four items in every single set, four pieces, um, so not, not too bad. You're looking at like a dollar a unit, pretty good. So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you guys. So if you guys have any questions on how this product works, let me know. I'll help you out any way that I can. But this is just an awesome, just an epic way to find some products. So again, if you guys have questions, let me know. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button if you want more videos like this. How I find these products that make me $10,000, $20,000 a month. Because honestly, this is what I'm doing. I'll spend hours in front of the computer looking up these different products, trying to come up with different ideas, and that's what's making me money. So again, smash that thumbs up button if you like this video, want more videos like this. Also, make sure you click that subscribe button, subscribe today, and I'll see you guys on the next video.